Today, I just wanted to talk about the importance of scales. Now, the type of scales that I'm talking about are the scales that everybody is familiar with. Let me just go ahead and give you an example of the type of scales I'm talking about. I'm in the key of B. I'm going to just go ahead and play through the B major scale in both hands. So it's something like this. <laughs> might sound rather simple or maybe even just basic because you know when we're growing up you know when you take piano lessons and stuff like that they tell you to practice that type of stuff but very recently I finally discovered like the true meaning of why we practice those scales and one thing that I've learned is that a lot of songs that are made and produced today it's very easy to relate all of those songs back to a scale so like let me just take a song made away for example and I'm going to show you how if you know your scales, you're able to take something like Made Away and and, and, and truly be able to uh, make it your own. So Made Away is in B and Made Away it starts on the one. And by the one, I mean in the scale, since I know that the song is in the key of B, if you know your scales, if you know the song starts on the one, the one is just the first note of that specific key that you're in of that scale. And the one is a major chord, so you let the one, which is B, be the root note of the chord that you're going to build. So then you would know to build a, a B major chord. So it starts on the one, and that's coming from the scale. So you take that number one, and then it goes to a five in the right hand over a seven in the left hand. And that five, that five just comes from the scale. So if you know your scale, one, two, three, four. If somebody was to call out the five, then you'd be able to just go straight to that major chord because the five is a major chord. And then that seven in the bass, that just comes from the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, five over seven, back to the one. That's just the four right there. That's just an E chord, E major chord. One, two, three, four. And that just comes from the scale. So when you get your scales down really well, the wonderful thing about numbers and practicing your scales, if you know all your major scales, you can take those numbers like 1, 5 over 7, 1, 4, and you can take something like that and you can put that in every key. Or you can take something even simpler like 1, 6, 5, 4, 1, 6. That's just a... A flat minor chord and that just comes from the scale one two three four five six because the six is minor and you're able to you know be able to play songs like that but you would only really be able to take that that theory from those numbers and put it in every key if you know your scales so you could take a simple song i'm going to use how he loves because that's the song that i always reference uh, the one six five four progression back to and it's originally in c so it's one it's just the one in the scale. One, six, five, four. And that's all that is. So if you wanted to take something like that and put that back in B, all that is is just coming from the scale. So that's just the one six the five and the four so i just wanted to just let everybody know that you know the repetition from i even did that myself and it really helped me when i when i went to go learn a, a multitude of songs because once you start to grow your musical vocabulary and you want to learn more and more music pieces um you're going to end up playing probably once if you play long enough you're going to end up going through all 12 keys and if you know you're all 12 keys, I mean, generally, I like to look at it. The, most of the songs that I've learned, they're all just their patterns. They're all chord progressions. And usually, for the most part, unless you're playing some, some complex songs, most simple songs that you hear on the radio and stuff like that, they're going to stay within those keys, and they're going to use one of those numbers. They're going to be either using the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or the 6. So if you know you're scaled on all 12 keys, you can take it, and you can really have fun with it in any way possible. So... Don't get bored with the with the with the repetition on your scales because it does build up your muscle memory and it helps you to be familiar. So 
let's say you want to learn a really cool song and it's got a one six five four progression, but it's in a key that you're not familiar with. If you know your scale, you can just take that and you can and you can you know you can you can really do something well with it. So yeah, I just wanted to uh just talk about the importance of scales. I'm gonna go ahead and put that piano scales.org link. Uh, back in the description and if you're interested in learning i would highly recommend you go ahead and learn those uh those 12 major scales and just practice those make sure you practice them with a metronome and it will begin to pay off when you learn songs because then you'll like you'll you'll know and you'll have like a vocabulary where if it's a song that you can't quite hear and you're trying to develop your ear you'll at least know like what to try because you'll be able to go through your scale with your chords you'll be able to try the one see if the one works You'll be able to try the two, see if the two works. You'll be able to try the three or the one over three and see if it works. You'll be able to try the four to see if the four works. Or you'll be able to try the five, see if the five works. Or the, maybe even the six or the seven or back to the one. So, yeah, the scales, that's that's really how I like to reference everything back. It's a universal language when you use the numbers. And, and it definitely just does make piano playing a lot easier. So I just wanted to go and just give you guys that tip for today.